My name is Lisa, and I'm a full-time housewife. I live happily with my husband, Noah, and our daughter, Madison. One day, Madison and I went shopping at the supermarket. Mom, look, look. It's sparkly and cute. Oh, what a lovely toy brooch. Well, it's like a toy store. Now that you mention it, there are indeed a lot of toys targeted at girls. It's 500 yen, that's pretty expensive. Yes, it really is. With 500 yen, we could buy a delicious cake instead. That's right, and if it's a cheap cake, we could buy a lot. Mom, I'm starting to crave cake. I thought you might say that. Well, if you're okay, with one from the supermarket, I'll buy it for you. Yay. Cake, cake. Oh my, Lisa and Madison, what a coincidence. Grandma. Hello? Mother-in-law, it's been a while. I always shop here. Since we're here, let's shop together. That sounds good. Let's browse the store together. Yay. Shopping with the three of us. This lady is the mother-in-law, who lives nearby and seems to shop at the same supermarket. After browsing through the store and finishing our shopping, we decided to line up together at the checkout. Then, when it was our turn. So, please add these items to your bill as well. Let's pay together. Oh. It's okay, I'll pay you back later. Well, that's fine, but... Maybe it's better to pay separately so we can keep track of what we've bought. It's fine, I remember exactly what I bought. Come on, hurry up and pay, or we'll cause inconvenience to the people behind us. Okay, then. Thank you, dear, you're a lifesaver. In the end, I ended up paying for my mother-in-law's items too, which led to spending over 30,000 yen in total. Moreover, she didn't pay me back, leaving me feeling quite frustrated. From that day on, my mother-in-law started coming to me frequently. Lisa, I need your help again today, I forgot my wallet. Mother-in-law, how many times has this happened? It's really becoming a problem. But what can I do? I truly forgot it. Oh, but it's not like I have dementia or anything. Just a little forgetfulness, that's all. You will pay me back, right? What are you saying? Of course, I will. Are you doubting me? Oh, Lisa, that's so harsh of you. Ugh. You said the exact same thing last time. I was troubled because she kept approaching me with the expectation that I would pay for her. Moreover, she started crashing events like luncheons with my mom friends, pushing me to my limits. Then one day, while out shopping with Noah and Madison on a holiday, we ran into my mother-in-law again. Oh, what a coincidence. Shopping together as a family, how nice. Include me too. Mother-in-law, even here. Oh, mom shopping too. What a coincidence. All right, let's all shop together. What? Noah. Oof, oof, oof. Thank you, Noah. Let's all shop together. It's been a while since I've been to a high-end supermarket. I'm really looking forward to it. Noah, why? I was confused and bewildered because I had already discussed my mother-in-law's behavior with Noah. However, later, Noah suggested a plan, which I thought was good, so we decided to go through with it. As we were about to line up at the checkout after shopping, Noah, Madison, and I stepped away for a moment. After a while, I received a phone call from my mother-in-law. Hello, what's the matter? What do you mean, what's the matter? It's almost our turn at the checkout. Is that so? I'm sorry. You know, my birthday is coming up soon, right? So, I got a bit carried away and did a lot of shopping for that occasion today. Since we're at this high-end supermarket, it would be a waste not to buy lots of good things. That's true, since we came all this way. So, I think my total might come to about 100,000 yen. 100,000 yen? What did you buy that cost so much? I bought lots of wine and expensive meats. It's normal for it to add up to that much. Actually, considering the quality of what I'm buying, 100,000 yen is quite cheap. No. It's not normal, nor cheap. Foo foo. Well, maybe I did go a bit overboard, but you know, this is a special celebration for my 60th birthday, so it's all good. Even for a special occasion, it seems a bit too expensive. Oh, it's my turn at the checkout. Hurry back. Return. What are you pretending for? Just like always, please take care of my bill too. A 60th birthday gift from you, Lisa, I'm so thrilled. 
My mother-in-law was about to go on a shopping spree at the high-end supermarket, spending 100,000 yen, assuming I would pay for it. I decided to enlighten her with a certain truth. I'm sorry, but it doesn't look like I'll be able to return, so please could you pay for it, mother-in-law? What? What are you saying? Don't joke around. No, I'm not joking. It seems unlikely we'll make it back in time. What kind of lazy talk is that? Then hurry up and come back even if you have to run. No, that would be a bit difficult. We're already on our way home. What? Home? What do you mean? Actually, we decided to go to the nearby home center instead. So, I'm sorry, but could you please take care of the payment? What? What are you thinking making your mother-in-law pay? Please don't be so upset. If it's about the money, I will pay you back later. Unlike you, who assumes we'll be treated, I will make sure to return the money, so please be assured. Treated? That's not it. I always intend to pay back. Don't speak of me as if I'm some lowly person. If you had actually paid back previously, I wouldn't have to say this. Anyway, that's the situation, so please take care of it. Wait, just a moment. Ignoring my mother-in-law's fuss over the phone, I hung up. Later, after picking her up from the supermarket and bringing her back to her house. All right, that's all the bags. Grandma, you really bought a lot, didn't you? It was for her 60th birthday celebration. Well, we'll be taking our leave now. Wait a minute. Explain what you mean by leaving like this. What I mean? We need to prepare for dinner. Not that. Don't play dumb. I want to know why you used such a cowardly tactic to make me pay the bill. It was wrong of us to leave without saying anything, I admit. But we did pay you back, right? Is there a problem? It's all problems. Because of you, I had to pay over 100,000 yen. I couldn't just go back to the register and return it. What a disaster. That's not our problem. You were the one who put the items in the cart intending to buy them. Direct your anger at yourself for carelessly filling the cart. No, it's because Lisa said she would treat me. That's why I bought so much. Don't lie. I never said that. You did. Otherwise, why would I buy so much? What's all this commotion about? Mother, why are you so agitated? I am agitated. Because of No and the others, I had to pay over 100,000 yen. I'm so upset, I can't stand it. 100,000 yen? What's going on? We were shopping at the high-end supermarket earlier. She just went on a shopping spree on her own. It's not our fault. A shopping spree? Mother, isn't this your own fault? No, I had to pay for No and the others too. That's why I ended up paying such a huge amount. What are you talking about? We already reimbursed you for our part. And our items didn't even cost 10,000 yen. Look, here's the receipt. Indeed, this receipt note doesn't show much was bought. That's nonsense. You can write anything you want on a memo afterwards. I was forced to buy my part too. I can't believe this. I could no longer contain my anger as my mother-in-law tried to deceive my father-in-law with her bluster. Enough is enough. Blaming us or claiming you were forced to buy things. Stop making up convenient lies. Ah, uh, Lisa, what's wrong? It's rare to see you so angry. I'm sorry. But I've been troubled by my mother-in-law's behavior for a long time. It's as if she's been watching and always ends up at the supermarket with us, forcing us to pay for her. And now, even at a high-end supermarket. I've reached my limit. What? Mother? Is what she's saying true? That's ridiculous. She's just making up excuses. You know I'm a good housewife who values saving money, don't you, father? A good housewife doesn't crash her son's wife's gatherings with mom friends. I couldn't even have a proper conversation when we finally met. It was really bothersome. That's news to me. Mother, did you really do that? You just ate and expected to be treated, didn't you? At your age, how disgraceful. Don't be fooled by them. Lisa is a liar. She's trying to make me look bad because her lies are about to be exposed. Grandma, that's not true. I know that Grandma always asks Mom to pay. Madison, when did you? Father-in-law, here's the chat history as proof. It records the amounts when she was treated, and she acknowledges it in the chat. Why do you have that? I deleted those messages on my end. You can't delete messages that others have already read, didn't you know? 
There's no room for excuses now. Don't you feel ashamed for doing this? And trying to lie to me as well? What were you thinking? No, that's not it. I was just trying to save money. Remember when I was scolded for misusing money in the past? I was just trying to make up for that by saving like this. It seems that the mother-in-law, who had been scolded for squandering money in the past, tries to placate her husband's anger with excuses. However, these words were not enough to calm him down. Do you think such excuses will work? Using me as an excuse? Is that it? Are you saying your bad habits are my fault? That's not it. I just wanted you to know there are significant reasons behind my actions. Nonsense. What part of your reason is significant? In the end, all you've done is change the source of the money you spend. Anyway, make sure you pay back all the money you've taken so far. Payback? That's impossible. I don't have such money. You know I don't work, right? Then get a job and pay it back. It's no longer an amount that can just be forgiven. Noah, why are you being so cold? Working at my age is impossible. Calm down a bit. I only had a little money taken care of. It shouldn't be something so bad that I have to whip this old body into labor. Is that so? That might be the case for us, but... But Lisa, what? What are you trying to say? It's not just us who have been affected by your actions, right? You must have been getting treated by people in the neighborhood as well. What? Neighborhood? You mean she's been mooching off strangers too? Yes, I often hear such stories from them. Everyone is troubled, so I thought of consulting you next time. Mother, I won't even check if it's true, because it probably is. Instead, is there anything you want to say to me? Well, about that story, it must be a very old one. Yes, from the past. I did repay the money afterwards, but everyone must have forgotten. People tend to remember the bad more, don't they? So it must be a misunderstanding by everyone. The mother-in-law, trying to deceive with excuses that weren't even valid, faced the utterly disappointed father-in-law, whose patience had run out. Silence! All you do is make excuses even when your misdeeds are exposed. Not a single apology. After the embezzlement incident, this is what happens next. I've had enough. I want a divorce. Divorce? Weren't you going to support me in finding work? If we get divorced, I won't be able to repay everyone. Nonsense. Just take out a loan and pay everyone back. That way, you'll have no choice but to work, whether you like it or not. How, how old do you think I am? You expect me to take on debt and live alone when I've barely worked. Do you hate me that much? I've come to despise you greatly after today. Just sort out your own mess from now on. Impossible. I can't bear it. Lisa, Noah, please, help this pitiful me. Grandma, you reap what you sow. If you didn't want to say goodbye to Grandpa, you shouldn't have done this. Exactly. Money is something people earn in exchange for their time and labor. Since you've been taking it in advance, it's only natural you pay a corresponding price. The reason for your current predicament is your inability to control your desires. Once divorced and in debt, you'll have no choice but to learn self-control, so it'll probably be alright from now on. Wait, don't abandon me. You were the one who let go of the hand I extended. If you want to do as you please, being alone suits you better. I'm done. Don't think about relying on us or our relatives. I'll make sure they know about this. Reflect on what you've done and regret it. This is the result of exploiting people's kindness. Please accept it quietly. Looks like you're going to have an interesting life story. Bye-bye. Uh, how did it come to this? And so, we left the dejected mother-in-law behind and exited her home. Following that, the father-in-law divorced the mother-in-law, who was then evicted from the family home. Although the father-in-law had instructed her to repay the borrowed money to everyone, she ignored this due to her now aimless life. Eventually, the father-in-law threatened to demand alimony if she did not repay, leading her to reluctantly take out loans and repay her debts. With no place to go and now burdened with debt, the mother-in-law visited relatives in a last-ditch effort but was turned away and not entertained. She attempted to declare bankruptcy to at least eliminate her debts, 
but she was not eligible for discharge due to specific prohibitions, preventing her from declaring bankruptcy. Thus, with no other option but to work to pay off her debts, she found a live-in job and began a life of relentless labor without any leisure. As for our family. Wow, look at all these sparkly toy candies. Such a large amount. Thank you, father-in-law, we really appreciate it. It's nothing for me. Even so, isn't this a bit too much? There are definitely going to be duplicates. Well, better to have duplicates than not complete the set, right? It's nice of you to think so, but this might be a bit too much. Madison, are you sure you're not overwhelmed with so much? Nope. If there are duplicates, I'll give them to Grandpa, so it's all good. Madison, you don't need to worry about me. You can keep them all. No. Since Grandpa gave them to me, I want to share half with him. That's very kind of you, Madison. Wow. Uh -huh. I guess there's no refusing this, huh? Oh, uh, well. I'll gratefully accept, then. Now we have matching ones. Since then, we've been enjoying peaceful days. On this particular day, the father-in-law came to visit our home, bringing some gifts with him. He remembered that Madison was fond of a certain food toy and brought not one but two cases of it. Madison was thrilled and happily shared about half of them with her grandfather. That day, the father-in-law went home wearing a large number of sparkly brooches. I'm a bit worried whether people gave him strange looks on his way back. I hope these joyful times continue forever. Today, like every other, we spend our day full of lively moments. If you enjoyed this video, we'd be thrilled if you subscribed to our channel. Subscribing means you'll receive notifications for new videos, keeping you in the loop with all our latest content. Your support is vital to our growth. Let's enjoy and grow together.